Let me see. So I was in this issue on Merge Quest View drop down with test cases is rendered incorrectly on mobile phone. So when we go into this issue, even though this issue is <laughs> insanely huge for the description, let me edit that a little bit. Uh, is this better or makes this... Um, And make it a little bit better. That's better. So for this issue, and if we look at the labels, we can see it's a UI polish issue. Uh, that mostly means it is, and I'm gonna remove the labeling here because I mis mistriaged these. B3, S3. Release, no, 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 no. Ah, label. I'm gonna label these only. So the idea I have moving forward with triaging issues is, you know, we apply the priority and severity labels and based on that uh, link that I put in here, and this is somewhere linked in our documentation is, um, you know, based on these requirements, we can add a severity label. Uh, going forward, I would like to refrain for now to apply priority labels as well, as this indicates, you know, like how high of a priority this is or how soon it should be done. Um, we can do that, but perhaps that is better applied together with product management rather than alone. Um, mm -hmm. While severity is more of like a, more of an objective thing directly, regardless of the scenario. Like, hey, does this block users? Uh, you know, can users still, you know, uh, continue that? Is it, is it more, more of a co cosmetic issue? So when we look at this one, it is a little bit in between. It's between a severity three and a severity four, I would say. Um, let me see, is the workaround. So what happens on this merge quest is like currently within the merge quest widget, and let me showcase you exactly what happens. Uh, let me see. So let's go to this one. And we go to the merge quest widget and we have these, these things here. When you click on them, you will see which jobs are inside of that. However, now we will make it small. So like in a, a mobile view, maybe let's not make it too small, but let's, let's say for this, I um, see this is not the best merge quest. Let's give it a, let's take a different This one. problem also exists with the team page for GitLab. I mean, when the model opens up, the width of the mm -hmm. model is uh, wider than the page. So you have to scroll horizontally. Ah, yeah. In in this case, if this um, mini pipeline graphs, so these are the little um, circles here. If they go towards mm -hmm. the end and then you click on the circle, this uh, drop down is out of screen. However, it doesn't allow us to zoom or to scroll horizontally, making some of those buttons inaccessible. So in that case, if we look at the triaging, we should say, hey, it's a broken feature, functionality is inconvenient or has a cosmetic issue. Um, I would perhaps say, let's see. Yeah, S3, right? Yeah. Because it is kind of an impediment in some way. It's not just plain cosmetic stuff. Let me see, does it do this? I'm just curious. So S3 label, in that case, if we go back to this one and um, it is this issue, it was a severity three. So I would say an important, quite important, but in terms of feasibility, I think this would be quite easy to fix. Um, so I'm thinking of putting it here. 
This needs a little bit of um, confirmation though. Okay. It's a little bit boring, but we'll get through it. Let me see to the next one. Reviewing a merge request with not enough access results in 404, job still link and show status. When reviewing a merge request from a re repository, which I do not have access to the build button, it sends me to a 404 page. It should be click. It should not be clickable if it's not possible to view a build. Um, that is, you know, like solutionizing. So I wouldn't say that is per se possible or needed. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to another one that um, I have placed here. It says improve merge train. Okay, this is uh, specific to merge trains uh, error messaging. But I think both are about improving the error messaging. Uh, yeah, this is more towards navigation. Uh, the other one is more for error reporting or giving feedback towards the user. I mean, both giving feedback oh. towards the user, but this kind of links like to an uh, inaccessible website. Um, oh, yeah. So I think uh, severity wise, this should go a little up. This should go up, you would yeah, say? I'm, yeah. Because uh, we are directing users to a dead end. So it doesn't have a lot of like either discussion or thumbs up. Um, mm -hmm. It's labeled as an S4 here. Did I do that or did somebody else? Nobody knows. It's not in the, hmm. it has been moved over, I think from uh, the previous issue tracker. So I want us to consider reach with this, with this issue. How many, how many people will encounter this as a, as a, like, as a, as a problem? Uh, what, what do yeah. you think? Uh, that depends on what, what are the chances of, uh... I think it it can happen very frequently because this is tied to the roles, right? Like the role based actions, and um, I, if it's not, if it doesn't fit in the scope of my role, I would be seeing a four or four without it telling me what went wrong. So I might think there's something wrong with the platform itself. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I would, on the other hand, say uh, how I was thinking about it was. Um, so the scenario in which this happens is that only if the user doesn't have permissions, then even, and the jobs are like, um, merge request for a repo, which I do not have. So this happens mostly when there's a fork. So say there's a fork merge request and I click through on the build, then I wanna see that build, but then I, I'm not allowed to see that because I do not have permissions for that repository. Mm -hmm. Um, the build status is in that case still shown. See, I am moved from the community issue tracker. Yeah, I would, I would agree with you. So let's, let's put this as a, what would you do it as a S3 or S2? I would say S3. Three years. Personally. Yeah. Or MP4. So inside the issue S3, we said, so it's a little bit more important. Um, this needs design work though. So I'm gonna lower it down in feasibility. Um, hey, where's my, <laughs> ah, okay. Let me put this on this. I might so move it back into the. So, all right, next one. Allow for link hinting when linking to the merge request pipeline tips tab similar to diffs. So when you link to a merge request, currently it's shown as this. So you. Now you link directly to that. For commits, uh, this is the same thing, I think. 
Let me see, is that the same thing? Yes. However, if we go to that, that merge quest and we click on a pipeline, so we do this, we link to the pipelines, we can see none of that information is shown. Do you see? We only see currently merged because this is a merged, merged, merged quest. But if we go to a different merge quest, say, um, say this one, then we can see there's no additional information shown that we are linking directly to the pipelines tab of the merge quest page. Um, I would say this is an S4, to be honest. Uh, so there are, I mean, I have placed a few items for which I haven't changed the severity on the issues page. So I'm just marking them for now. I'll remove the marks once the labels are corrected. Oh, like uh, which do not, sorry, can you say it again? Uh, so I placed a few, but I haven't changed the labels on the issues page. Ah, okay. Yeah, sounds good. Let me see, confusing UI grouping of merge train items together in the merge request. Parts of the merge quest UI related to merge trains are separated by unrelated items, making it easy to miss the merge button on short windows slash screens. I understand this might be intended to be chronological, but that is not really the case anymore for merge trains where the merged result pipeline still shows its activity in the first step. See the screenshot. I didn't really get this. Yeah, this is a bit difficult. Let me see. Looking at the other merge related stuff. Where's the merge button? Merged result pipeline. <laughs> it is below the fold in the screenshot. <laughs> Scroll down it below some other unrelated stuff. So, okay. So the merge button is not close enough to the uh, pipelines the ind user indicates. I would say this is a little bit of a, of a difficult problem because the merge quest widget, and I'll show you this, it has a lot of like functional problems uh, or structural functional problems. And recently, for example, we have changed the tabs to be at the top of the page. Before that was the case, you had to scroll down and then underneath the merge quest widget, you would find the tabs, so it was hard was hard to discover them. The merge quest widget, which is this information block, which has a lot of information there is like a huge, like crossroads of information. Everybody's interested in some piece of information there. You know, like there's metrics, there's code quality, security scanning, and most likely you won't be interested in like 80% of this information. Most people are interested in, hey, is my pipeline doing right? Where, what I'm merging exactly, can I merge this? Uh, so I would say this is a little bit of a, you know, information hierarchy and architecture problem. Um, and, and I wouldn't say it's so much related to CI in that case. And I would say generally is a bigger problem than that we're now able to fix. The Merge Quest right. widget is, I believe, uh, this is being investigated by the Create Stage group. Um, but yeah, like it is like it's it's such a every change we make to the merge quest widget, especially information architecture wise, um, has a huge impact because everybody has a little bit of a share of what information they're going to get out of them and for which information they care out of the merge quest widget. Um, so I would say for now, this uh, is not feasible for us to do. I'm also going to unlabel the S and B3 labels. Um, I'm gonna label S4. Then how about the group continuous integration because this is not a very group specific problem. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna 
Can I ask Marcel? Mm -hmm. Part of. So this, I would say low feasibility and currently of low importance. Right, let's give it a little bit of a <laughs> pump there. All right, next one. Auto merge failure messages. Um, should we post to a system, but a system, not a user. So currently the user that, let me see, um, pushed the merge quest to be merged by the merge train, um, like the user is also reported as the one that takes it out of the merge train if it failed because of some reason. Uh, the idea here is not to let the user be that person to be reported as the one that gets it out of that, but the, the system. Um, what do you think in terms of severity? Um, just go through this again. I don't get it. So right now what's happening is the user getting a, an opportunity to post this by themselves. So, um, like take this with a grain of salt because I, I, it's hard for me to showcase this currently within, uh, GitLab, but say this, um, pipeline or this merge quest has the ability to be merged, but as part of the merge train. And do you know the concept of a merge train? Not really. That's a question. So for you the merge, <laughs> no worries. I'll give you the, like the two minute quick answer to that. The merge train basically allows for, um, uh, like if, it, if a repository is super active um, and people are constantly pushing changes to master, then uh, the idea is that you know, like in order to have a green master, to have a successful pipeline on master all the time, that if the amount of merge quests merging is so high, then every time merge quests has to rerun their pipelines in order to assure they are green. And say so there are like 20 merge quests waiting in line and they're like, oh, one merge is now 19 begin a new merge, uh, uh, like a new pipeline. And again, and again, and again the merge train kind of allows to to wait for each other and say, all right, now you go, and now you go, in order to conserve resources right. and also to speed up um, the merge process as well, because there's some optimizations there possible. So the idea here is though, request. sorry, go ahead. So it kind of schedules the merge request so that it doesn't block the pipelines. Yes, exactly. Because we expect that the pipeline will be green, thus the merge quest will be merged, and thus the target branch will advance, making that the old pipeline needs to be run rerun on the new target ref, right? Um, and then there's, there's uh, I don't know if we already implemented that, but there's also the advanced version of that where the merge terrain becomes presumptive and kind of assumes that all merge train, like all merge quests will merge uh, with a green pipeline and then kind of figures out like if this merge quest merges, then the, the target ref will be there. So I'm already gonna test for this future ref, which hasn't been succeeded yet. And then, you know, you can schedule them and all merge them in one go in theory. Of course, it never works out that way, but it is a nice, nice idea to, to think of. Is that uh, enabled topic no, I don't think it's developed yet, but merge trains we already have. If it's that optimized yet, I don't think so. Got it, all right. Yeah. And for this issue, the idea is that if you have like enabled merge by merge train, so it's in the queue, however, for some reason it's dropped out of the queue and it is considered unmergeable, then currently we, report to the to to everyone in the merge quest widget with these system messages. So this is a system message of somebody adding a commit. Um, this is a system message of somebody being assigned as an assignee and somebody unassigned, et cetera. 
And this, we have one as well for a merge terrain that says, hey, somebody has removed this merge quest from the merge terrain queue because, and then some reason. So here they say no stages slash jobs for this pipeline for some reason. However, the problem here indicated is that this is the administrator, the user, while it is the merge train kind of like system that throws out the merge uh, request. Uh, it seems we're a so little this bit. This could um, be an S4. Connection. What do you think? Yes, I totally oh, agree. Um, S4. This is, is though an easy uh, an easy fix, I think. Um, at least a relatively easy fix. Um, importance low. It go. Sorry. I'm saying it's Since funny we have how it names uh, the script. Sorry, like my connection is going a little bit uh, hazy, so you have to repeat yourself. Okay, yeah, it, it's very funny that it is an administrator, even though it's a system generated stuff. Yeah, true. Is it still bad? Yeah, I don't know what is. Let, let me let me disable my uh, my uh, um, my video. I'm still recording and uh, sharing my screen, so maybe this lightens it a little bit. Uh, anyway, three to go. Do you still hear me, or are we uh, are we stuck? Hello. Hey, there we are again. Can you hear me? Hello, hello? I've just reconnected. Yeah, I can hear you. I'll also stop the video. Sounds good. You hear me? Yeah, now it's so much better. All right, I'm gonna try and share my screen because of the recording. Um, okay. Let me see. All right, three more to go. Uh, let me see. Merge train text helper is misleading for merge immediately case. So I thought we already had this one. Am I mistaken? Succeeds but invisible. No. No. So I think this is similar to this one. Yeah. Ambiguous. I think so. So let me link these together. Issue is already assigned. Okay. So I'm going to place these together because I think they're the same. Okay. Um, can I put this to the front? All right, next. Uh, let me see, show warning message for merge immediately on merge via markdown. Merge immediately on merge via markdown. Okay. So this is uh, this is quite easy. In um, in our um, comment uh, editor, we have all kind of uh, ways to have quick commands. So instead of assigning a label throughout the UI, we can say, "Hey, I want to, you know, put a certain label here." The same can be done in a merge quest with, for example, um, we can say label, enlabel, relabel, close. 
but also merge. Uh, this is, I think, a merge merge quest. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, I don't so have the rights to. It's a legitimate. I mean, there should be a warning because it is kind of a critical action that they're taking. They're merging, so mm -hmm. there should be a warning. But I don't know how that would be implemented because I have never seen uh, a warning surfacing after uh, giving a uh, markdown command. How does it work here? Um, that's a good. That's a good idea. Um, there is no existing concepts for giving a warning after a quick command. And also, if you look at the persona of the person who's using a markdown command, they're usually experts. Um, markdown commands um, persona expert GitLab user. Software developer, expert, you like, is it a power user? I would say power user, right? Say power user. Um, considerations from meeting with Yeah, those are all valid points. Would you say um, um, this makes it harder, so less feasible, and this is makes it a little bit less important because uh, the user mostly knows what they're doing, right? Yeah. Would you still give it an S2 or would you give it an S3? I think an S3. I agree here. Oh. So where does that place this? Where would you where would you put it? Uh, I think feasibility wise it's tough because there is no existing pattern to implement. So yeah, there. Okay. I would say this needs quite a little bit of thought to go in from a design perspective. Yeah. I mean, like a lot is kind of like, there's either a small amount or a lot, like it's more than a small amount. So I would put this on for now. It's a little bit of like, what granularity are we currently working with, right? Yeah. Um, merge quest stuck on, you can only merge once items above are resolved. And merge pipelines will try to validate the post merge result prior to merging options. <laughs> what a mouthful. <laughs> Merge quest cannot be merged. It is stuck on, you can only merge once the pipelines are involved. No idea how to reproduce. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, okay. So the idea is he cannot do that because there's um, merge quest is approved. Pipeline has been passed. This is, is a it bug. bug. by development? You mean like if it has been, ooh, there's people that have this issue for some reason. This indeed, same problem highlighted. Okay, this seems like quite a, quite an important one, but also hard one to tackle. Mm -hmm. It also has, has like severity and priority labels applied by, let me see. Who has applied those crystal pool? Ah, okay, so engineering manager. Okay, so this is quite important. And is this continuous integration? Yeah, it is. So high on priority, but medium feasibility. Yeah, and I'm just curious, like, what's the role that UX would play in this? Because that's a good question. Uh, let me. Uh, let me put this on it. So in this case, UX has been put on here um, because it like it applies, um, you know, to the experience of trying to get things merged. Mm -hmm. um, I would say in this, we are there to help out product management and engineering to figure out which use cases and what exactly the problem is and. 
kind of facilitate the, the the issue going into the right direction. Um, and so I think you know if sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'm saying what UX can do is UX can help them with uh, sequence of validations, like uh, in a way that the validation doesn't hinder the merge in any way. Um, in what context are you placing validation? So uh, what I mean is, I mean, I have just had a very superficial look at this, but what I understand is there are certain validations which are being run in the background, even though users are shown that the pipeline has been successful and the merge request has been approved. So those validations mm -hmm. should surface before uh, they, the, before the users get this uh, uh, approved and pipeline passed things. Those yeah, are like I, I, ahead. Yeah, sorry. Um, um, I would say like in this specific case, the problem is or let, let, let me approach it differently. So this is the merge uh, section of the merge quest widget, right? Uh -huh. So let me go to an actual merge quest widget here. So here's what I would like to call the request section. Then we have the okay. pipeline section. Then we have the approve section. Then we have the test section. And for some reason it is in the same section as the merge section of the merge quest widget. And the merge section kind of focuses on, hey, can I merge this merge quest? If there's anything in the above sections that is not okay, for example, the pipeline failing or there's not enough approvals or there's something regarding the test that needs to be changed for some reason, then this little thing will report on the most pressing one of those. And then after you fix it, it will report on the next one until none of them are left and the merge button is available, so to say. Okay. For this specific issue, the problem is that nothing in the merge quest widget displays why it cannot be merged. It says, hey, you can only merge once the items above, when the sections above are resolved, or if, when they are in a good state. But they are in a good state because, you know, the merge section, like the request section is always good, but like, hey, the pipeline is green. and also the merge quest has been approved. Like there's, there's nothing wrong here. So then the case is like, why, what, what, is, what is the validation it is, it is requiring before I'm able to merge? We have no idea. Right. And there's no action intervention which we present to the user. No, I, and in that case, I would say uh, we are either like there's actually a bug from the technical side that is for some reason showcasing this error in a, in a case where it shouldn't, or mm -hmm. we are misinforming the user of a problem that is existing, but you know, we are not informing the user of that. So I would say we need to figure out exactly what is going wrong here and validate that what the, what the problem is and then figure out the appropriate solution. Right, so I'm bookmarking this. I'll read this once in my free time. I think it's a, a pretty, uh, like, a pretty edge case, but like it is, like it has a high amount of like visibility of, of many people. So I would say, how much of an edge case is this, right? Uh, I think mm -hmm. this this certainly requires our attention. Okay. Let me see. We got all those, so that's amazing. Um, and let's quickly go towards the issues that you have labeled with the triangles. Um, so first this one, show me a snippet of the last failing job in a merge quest page. When a CI pipeline fails, it usually su suffices to show me the last five to 20 pipelines. It's kind of interesting to showcase this a little bit. So let me see if I can showcase that towards you because we do already do this in a different view. So currently when we are in this uh, pipeline detail view, let me let this finish. We can see here you now what for what it is, what is kind of the, like the, the merge quest um, or the commit uh, description. Mm -hmm. And then we can see the information and like, of course, the, the graph. And there's one job that is failed, but it is allowed to fail in this case. 
So in this case, we can see here within the tabs, there's a failed job. And this is kind of like the excerpt that the user can then navigate to and see, hey, what has gone wrong? We can see for some reason, um, there are no files to upload. And that's why the job failed with an Xcode of 125. Got it. Um, the suggestion here is that in case of me having to move towards the merge quest detail view or the pipeline detail view from the merge quest page, because it's also not visible within the pipelines page, as you will get the same information as far as I'm, I'm aware. Okay. They want the same yeah, information so. on the previous page. Yeah, but like directly visible within the merge quest page. So either in a tab or perhaps inside of a discussion, uh, the idea is to kind of like optimize that workflow of figuring out what has gone wrong within my pipeline. The problem is, you know, it can be that like 50 jobs fail, and then you would have 50 excerpts in your merge quest page somewhere of what has gone wrong. That's maybe too much information. So I would say, personally, this needs quite a bit of design work, um, even though it is an interesting feature. Yeah, I and needs just... some validation. Uh, as an as a request, this is valid, but I'm just thinking if there could be an, an, another way to solve this problem. So um, when you see uh, that indicative trail of pipelines uh, on this merge request page, where it just indicates which one has passed, which one is hasn't gone through. Um, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm clicking too many things at once. Okay. You mean this view, right? No, 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 not that view. Uh, go to the overview. In the overview page, uh, the part where it just shows the status of the pipeline. Yeah, the, the merge quest widget, you mean? Yes, in the widget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so if we click on the status where it says that uh, there are warnings associated with this pipeline, and that could take specifically, uh, like that could take us to that specific part in the pipelines page where I can quickly go and view the uh, problems without having you mean to- mean clicking on this? Do you mean? Yeah, what, what happens when you click on this? So if you click on this, we go directly to the job. So here we can exactly see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of good enough in a way. Like it's more like, if you want to stay within context, I would say. Yeah. So what, like what kind of severity would you, would you put it's, on this if we're going to give it a severity? Sorry? This, this is S4 and I'm S4. like even debating if this is a problem worth solving because there is a solution. It's, this sounds like an opinion. Yeah, it's from, uh, maybe. Come on, GitLab. Thank you. Um, it's validation. Description is solutionizing. Okay, sounds good. Uh, tentatively given this or uh, severity. All right. severity and like feasibility, I would place a little bit to the left as well because it would need design work. I would say actually it needs validation. All right, next one. Merge quest approval shows start merged controls, merge train controls. Um, I'm trying to try to validate the post merge result prior to merge. Check for a project at least one approval. See the merge controls to lead branch. Even though merging is disabled, this is different from. So I guess unchecked. Okay, so this is like a UI polish. Oh yeah, it is a UI polish. Um, personally, I don't think this is really important. 
it is mostly like it, it, it is pointing at consistency between when the like merge trains are available or uh, like active as a feature versus not mm -hmm. active. And then, oh, we show the UI a little bit differently and we allow for the lead source branch. Like, I think the merge section of our merge quest widget in terms of error reporting, like, hey, what is going wrong? Or what do you need to do before you can merge? And showing options such as the lead source branch and squash uh, commits and those kind of things. Yes, that can be improved. But um, like specifically in this case, this is this is only this is only pointing at consistency as far as I am concerned here. Okay. It even says it so. It's very opinionated. I expect these views to be the same. Uh, uh, I thought maybe they are, um, maybe, I mean, we are servicing actions that they couldn't take as yet. So that's why I gave it a higher severity. Yeah, like the thing is, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much. Like, hey, yes, uh, delete source branch. Uh, is available when merge trains is available, but not when uh, the merge train is disabled. Uh, mm -hmm. But it doesn't. It doesn't even say, "Hey, what what the user is is like like um, wishing for for that for that option to be available or not." No, it's just about, "Hey, these views are different. Please make them the same." Um, okay. So, so I'm gonna from meeting. Um, Uh, we have discerned that this is a watch. Let's see, I can type. Is that Okay, so this was there, uh, quite low in importance, quite high in, it's very high in. I think importance would go further low because that's kind of S3 now. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay, let me see one more, right? Yes. Improve merge trains error messaging. So it's a little bit like we already had one, right? Let me yeah. see, because we think we're grouping here. So danger now. Left somewhere. Was on the left? Yeah, I think the one with the blue sticker there. The blue sticker. Oh, yeah. No, this is a 404. Okay. So uh, no, it was the other one. It was the other one. The, the ambiguity and misleading one? Um, no, it was the one with the user, not like user administrator one. Okay. Merge the latest. Where was that one? Oh, sometimes you cannot find it, right? Where did it go? <laughs> uh, 
it's not the same one, right? No, it's not the same one. I'm sure we have seen it, but let me see. Oh, Jesus. Uh, let me see. Ambiguous, impossibility, resizing, fusing icon, blocks, allow, which can help mostly. Oh, which one was it? Was it this one? No, it wasn't. Ah, I found it. It was auto merge failure messages should be posted by the system, not the user. Okay. And this one focuses on when the user, when the merge train fails because of merge conflict, the messaging doesn't give the user a clear explanation of what happened or how to resolve the issue. This could be improved by improving the messaging or linking to the docs. Um, added this to merge train position at five and then failed to create merge commit for blah, blah, blah add refs. Okay, yeah, so they are not actionable. Um, so it doesn't really give guidance towards the user as to how to resolve the, 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 the unmergeability of the merge quest after it has been put in the merge train and then thrown out again for some reason. Right. Um, so I feel it should be of a higher priority than, uh, the other one, because in this case, it is kind of hindering some sort of workflow. Yes, I agree. Uh, um, it's also quite feasible to do. Yeah, I would perhaps even put it here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this is good. Needs a little design work. Interesting how we got to this. So we have here a block of like high feasibility, but low importance. Then we have some random ones. We got some high importance, but low feasibility. And then we have this, these bunch. So we have two issues that are the main thing. I want to quickly see into this one and see what kind of uh, thing we can give in here. Merge pro visible for non-maintainer. Ah, okay, so this is more of a technical problem that needs a little design work to be done here. Um, how old is this issue? Five months ago, okay. Okay, so I think I would... Okay, no, Tao added a label to it. Uh, which one? I thought this one was not um, looked at. 20426, a block pipeline shouldn't prevent merging, but Tao did uh, add a label to this S1. If the century are right where you are. This is an S1? Did you do add that? Or Tao added that? Yeah. Pipeline shouldn't prevent merging. Currently, it is impossible to merge merge quests when the pipeline is blocked. Oh, uh, blocked waiting for manual action regarding the such a block can occur if the auction is okay. Let's let's move this up as well. Severity, importance. Um, I think this is quite doable as well. We've had um, 
we have had an issue recently that allowed for skip my pipelines to still allow for merging and merge quests. If a pipeline has been skipped, if a pipeline has been blocked, I, I would assume so in the kind of the same way. Um, okay. So this would need uh, some design work, but not too much, I think. And for this one, it was the same. This we have the same. So I would say one, two, three, four. And let me see what's this engineering. This is a UI. Can only merge on items and so resolved. Let's focus on these four. I think that is already something to to push forward. Sure. Hope. Oh. Um, and then I will verify with uh, with um, with Tao. Let me see. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave the feedback here in the issue and I'll mention you as well. I'll mm -hmm. uh, push those issues here into this, uh, this table and then ask Tao to um, ver like validate that or verify that, verify is the better word. And then we have our deliverable for what I wanted to get out of this meeting and preparation for um, our efforts uh, for OPR or verify release. So thank you for your input here. It's been very valuable. I really like uh, your thoughts um, towards the severity of those items. And uh, yeah. sorry? This was fun. Thanks for involving me. <laughs> no problem. Uh, thanks again. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. OK. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Ciao.